Good morning, everybody. Got a bus show. Got myself a cup of coffee or whatever you want to drink. Pull up a chair. I hope everybody's having a beautiful, blessed day. Uh, I know what I am. Um, as long as it seems like as long as the rain holds off, um, things are going to maybe get a little bit better. It's going to rain the next few days, which is maybe it's a better thing. You know, maybe the good Lord's trying to tell me something. That's all I can say is it's not my time to be out there and I better just buy a little bit of time here and wait. You know, I, I need the sandbars. They're, yes, I looked yesterday and they're starting to reemerge a little bit, which is a good sign. That means the river's coming back down from all the rain, but now we're getting more rain. It's supposed to rain. It's raining north of us, north of me right now, which is going to feed all the contributaries to the Missouri. And it's raining west of me, which is also going to feed a lot of the contributaries to the Missouri. So it's going to do what it's going to do. I can only roll with the punches. I mean, I don't have to, I don't have to be out on the river on, I don't have any set rigid plans and this is why i didn't make any rigid set plans well i gotta be on a river on this day and i gotta travel this far and i gotta do this every day the only thing i gotta do every day is survive i'll get there when i get there if i'm if i don't get started until way late and the, the weather drives me off the river and you know when it gets fall and towards winter time then it drives me off the river and that's something i deal with you know i mean it is part of life. I'm not going to kill myself for this. It's, I mean, it is worth, a, yes, it'll be the adventure of a lifetime. It'll be one of the most awesome things I've ever done in my lifetime outside of being a parent and a grandparent. It will be one of the better things in my life. It'll be one of the most fun things in my life. This is why I'm not setting a rigid agenda on when I got to do things. Because if I have a rigid agenda, then I got to stick to it. And that means I have to put my, if I feel it's not safe, I still have to do it. Or I could wait until it's a little bit more safe, like I am doing right now. I, you know, it's, you know, instead of going, well, I can see the tops of the, the sandbar. So it, it'll be all right. It, the water, will, I have to get out there. Well, no, I don't have to. I will do it when I feel like it is as safe as I it can possibly be. And if that's this weekend, then that's this weekend. If it isn't until, or not this weekend, I'm not doing it this weekend. This weekend is my granddaughter's birthday, and I'm going to make sure I'm there for that. But if that means next weekend, and if next weekend the water comes up and it's even higher yet, then okay, then I wait. It just, that's plain and simple. My life is more important, so I'm going to make sure I take care of that. All right, so let's get into the affirmations. And let me guess, I got to figure out where the fingerprint thing you went to. Really? It is not working, so I'm just punching the code. There we go. All right, let's start. I am determined. I am disciplined. I am motivated. I am in control of my fear. I'm in control of my anger. I'm in control during conflicts. I finish the task. I start. I speak thoughtfully. I speak with purpose. I'm closed off all things negative. I'm a positive influence. I am worthy of good things. All right, I'm only going to do one, and then I'll bring you back for the last one. Last one. I am determined. I am disciplined. I am motivated. I'm in control of my fear. I'm in control of my anger. I'm in control during conflicts. I finish the task. I start. I speak thoughtfully. I speak with purpose. I'm closed off to all things negative. I'm a positive influence. I am worthy of good things. All right. I do, I, yes, I do 18 minutes because the only person I'm going to cheat if I don't is me. So I do a full 18 minutes. <sighs> yeah, it gets a little boring sometimes, but helping yourself is, doesn't always mean it's going to be the most exciting thing in the world. It, it has helped me a lot. Yes, I really do believe it has. And I did started this. I didn't think it was going to be, you know, doing 18 minutes affirmations every day. Is it really going to help me do anything? Yeah, it has. Um, has it made me perfect? No, it hasn't. I'm still far from it, but that's okay. We work towards being better, not being perfect. 
You know, I know there's people out there saying, I'm perfect, I don't need it. You know, if you think you're perfect, then you're messed up in the head and you need more help than anybody can offer you. That's really plain and simple. You know, do your do yourself a favor and try it. What do you have to lose besides 18 minutes a day by trying it? Lose some of your fears, your phobias. Um, if you want to try and help your weight situation, you know, say I prefer eating smaller portions. I prefer um, eating healthy foods over junk foods. I prefer apples and oranges and to potato chips and whatever else. You know, I prefer eating an orange. I would prefer to eat an apple. Um, and I, I, I prefer to snack on celery or carrots or whatever you happen to like. You know, it, it all depends on you. You know, try it. What do you have to lose by trying it? A few minutes of your life every day for, give it a couple weeks. Give it I'd say give it three weeks. If you don't feel one tiny, tiny, itty bit little difference, then stop. You know, and if I do it for 18 minutes. If you don't want to do it for 18 minutes, do it for two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Whatever you feel comfortable doing. All right? I love you all. God bless you all. You should use precious name. Amen.